All right, here with Woodside Head basketball coach Stefan Welsh. Wolverines win at 54-52 over Patrick Henry Rona. Well, coach, you played, I believe, against Lansdowne years last year at Woodside in the state championship. Was it Potomac the year before that? And yes, you won sir. as a player. Those were good games. This one was an all-time classic today as you get down 16, get the lead. They get down nine with under six minutes to go. They tied up, have a chance to win the game. Missed shot by Webb at the end. Trevor Smith gets it races. Doesn't get the finish, but Christian Greenwell is there to win the game. Take me through the highs and lows and what's going through your mind during this whole uh, I guess roller coaster of a championship. You know what? For me, through their through, through their whole run, for me it was, you know, to stay even keel, stay level headed, you know, stay upbeat, keep encouraging. Was that hard though? Not really. Okay. You know, we've been in situations this year where we've been down against yeah, some really good teams and we battled back. You know, one thing about it, and you know, this playing in the Peninsula District, we're gonna take everybody's best shot every night. You know what I mean? So, like I said, these these guys are really really battle tested. They go about their business the right way. Um, but I, I, I was never worried. My biggest thing was keeping these guys, you know, mentally there. Because, like I told them, right there, we went down by 16. Yo, it's a lot of basketball left. Let's just stay, let, let's just stay even kill. Let's stay to our scheme. You know, let's knock this lead from 16 to 7 going into the fourth and we'll win the basketball game. You know, right, at, right after that timeout, that's when Trevor came out and hit two big shots. And, you know, from there at 11, that's striking distance for us because of the way that we play. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it felt like they just kept turning it over, you know. And, you know, once my team get in the zone like that with their defense and intensity, we're we'll tough out for anybody in the country. You knew how good Patrick Henry was coming in because you did your, your film and your study work, seven threes. It's hard for teenage kids. I think we talked about this on our Zoom the other day about, yeah, you play Menchville and kicking all these teams more in order. You, you can sometimes see film and take them lightly, and then you go in the court with them, and you see that, oh, you're hitting threes and stuff. I felt one of the key moments in the game, besides Trevor Smith hitting the threes, was and people will talk about Christian Greenlaw as game winner. His defense on Abu Yarmer, he finishes up with 12 points, 12 rebounds. There was a play where he checked on the perimeter, and it looked like at that point your whole defense started to change. Did you right. sense that too? Or? Yeah, um, we had a defensive breakdown, of the, the, the possession right before that, when, when, when they did a pick and pop situation, and, and Kel didn't make Abu put the ball on the floor and send him to his backside help. So I took him out, let him hear, put Christian in, and when, before I sent Christian in, I told him, hey, listen, we. You're black on Obu for the rest of the game. You know, physically, you know, I know that Christian can guard one through five. Um, and I knew that he would get the job done. You know, so right there in the middle of the paint, you know, I think they actually end up calling the travel on Obu. Um, and from that point on, we went down Trevor. I think it might have been the second, the second three. And from that point on, I felt very, very confident that we was going to win the basketball game. It was strange the last couple of minutes of the game. It was tense. It was tight. I mean, the people were up on their feet. You had a couple timeouts left, didn't use them. Tell me the thought behind that. And they used their last one. What was your thought when they used the last one? Were you thinking we can turn them over and get a finish like you got? Or absolutely. One thing about it, when the game on the line and we racing, I'm not gonna call a timeout and get it. You know, get the other team a chance to set up or talk about what they want to do. You know, we got guards that have been in these big moments before. Obviously, with Trevor, who I think is one of the better guards, not just in the state but the country. You know, with the ball in his hands. I feel like you know we 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 always in control. You know, um, and. and you know, I felt like I felt good about us getting a defensive stop. You know, um, down down the stretch. Um, and 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 I think that you know, when, when, when once Trevor settled into the game, you know, it made everybody else pick their play up, and it settled everybody else down there as well. You know, um, when your leader's struggling, teams have a ten, you know have a tendency to struggle. You know, and, and, and for me, you know, I, like I said, in there, I kind of wanted to, you know, piss them off a little bit. Um, so I didn't start in the second half, and I knew that he would come out and put on the performance that he, that he did. Last time, I appreciate your time. You know, you're a basketball junkie. You live at high school, AAU, you played college ball at Arkansas, NBA college, high school. You live and breathe this stuff. First half, it felt like, if it wasn't for Michael Jenkins, you might have been even bigger down because he kept just sort of afloat while everybody else was finding their way. And in some of these games, you can lose it in the first half. Right. It didn't swell to 20-plus, and just yesterday, Northside Hopewell had a game where it was a big deficit made up. How big was that to get to the second half where it was you still were within striking distance to a degree and it felt like you got away from ISO ball and started sharing the ball a little bit more after your defensive pressure well, caused well, mistakes? Well, that, that, that was our message at, message at halftime. You know, all year long we've shared the ball yeah. at an elite level. You know, we believe in my shot is good, but if I make this extra pass, my teammate's shot is great. I didn't feel like we did that at all in the first half. I think that when, when, when Trevor was struggling a little bit, I think everybody started pressing like, okay, Trevor's struggling. Okay, let me let me lead us. Let me lead us instead of us continuing to play team basketball. So that was the main message at halftime. Let's get out here. Our defense ain't bad. Let's get out here and share the ball. Let's make the extra pass. Let's get out on the break. Let's play faster. And the shot's going to fall. You know, and again, in the second half,
them shots that we missed in the first half, they fell. And, you know, um, our defensive intensity really, really picked up at an elite level. And lastly, you know, it's been some tough times, uh, even in the city of Newport News, uh, your hometown there, Woodside High School. What's this mean to the community, the city, and every one of these kids? And what will you remember about this championship group? I know you'll have more time to reflect on it and soak it in, but what's it mean to everybody involved, yourself, these kids, and all the hard work you put in to get this? You know what? Through this run, I've said this in every interview, and nobody, nobody's posted it yet, but I know you're going to do it, Matt. You know, in the, in the time where Newport News, you know, has been in the news for some of the wrong things, um, I think that, you know, us being a positive influence for people to rally around um, and, and enough for us to be a, a shining light on our public school system, you know, I think, I think that's unbelievable. You know, I think it's unbelievable for our city. You know, I think it's unbelievable for our school system. And I think it's unbelievable for our kids because they're, you know, they, they are role, role models in their own right. You know, and like I said, these guys, you know, they do it in the classroom. They show up every day to practice. They don't complain. You know, they do everything literally the right way. And I just, you know, I just think that, you know, us being able to do this gives our, gives our city and our school system something to rally around. Well, he's got two rings as a player. Now one as a head coach. Congrats on an all-time classic and a victory. Thank you so much. Job well done. Appreciate that, Matt.